So I can't quite remember where I found this. I don't know if I got it from the junk store or I pulled it out of a piece of equipment. Um, the leads, the leads look clean. So I think I actually purchased this at the junk store thinking it was just a, uh, an oscillator, right? A, 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 a 14 pin, you know, regular oscillator where, where pin 14 and pin seven are power and ground. Pin one doesn't do anything at all. And pin uh, eight is where the things come out. And it, and it acts exactly that way. It, it acts exactly that way. I'll hook it up later, but um, it, it does exactly that. Um, so I don't think you can read the, uh, can you read it now? Can I, I don't think I've done this before. Yeah. Anyway, it is a uh, Cal Amp 7010-521, and then it says 131230. So anyway, I couldn't find it online. Um, it has an adjustment, so a lot of times these little oscillators will have a, a little uh, capacitor on them, so you can tweak the... Uh, tweak the value to something accurate. I think that's why I bought it. I like the ones that have the little tweak on them, figuring it's, it's probably maybe oven controlled TX, TXO or something, and it's got a little tweak on it. So, you know, usually you pay a lot of money for, for ones that have tweaks. So I figured, okay, you know, for, I don't know, 50 cents or whatever I paid for it. Um, yeah, I should get it. And then I started looking at the back and I guess I didn't look very close. So let's go. Uh, let's go into the microscope and look at this thing because it's very strange. All right, I put five volts on it and here's a uh, uh, E-field probe. And I'm going to just lay the E-field probe right here on top of the device. And over on the spectrum analyzer, we see that it's about uh, peak search, peak to center, uh, 17 and a half megahertz. So 17 and a half megahertz. So pretty boring. And there doesn't seem to be anything else. Uh, that seems to be, that seems to be what it does. Uh, I've put it on an oscilloscope too, and it just, it just outputs 17 and a half megahertz. That's, that's what it does. Okay, so there you see the uh, part number. I'll leave that forever for a second. All right, and then it's got the little uh, hole here with the uh, with the adjustment on it. Okay, so let me uh, let me flip it over, and uh, first of all, we see a little uh, we see a little oscillator there. So it's an oscillator within an oscillator, right? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, why do you need an oscillator inside the oscillator? Oh. And then it's got a little three terminal thing there. Here. Okay, well, maybe that's a five volt to three volt, 3.3 volt converter or something. I don't know. And then I come over here and I go, wait a minute, this is a big giant chip here. And I don't know if you can read that. Let's see, it's upside down. Um, but it is a, oops, changing my camera here. It is an Atmel Tiny 25. It's a microprocessor. What is a microprocessor <laughs> doing on an oscillator? Uh, and what does it do? What does it do? So then now I'm really curious. Like, is it, is it taking the oscillator and then maybe dividing it down. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe it's dividing it down or maybe it's like a double thing. Maybe it's an oscillator plus a wake up timer. Uh, maybe every minute it gives an interrupt or something on the pin one, right? Pin one's not used usually. So maybe it's doing something on pin one or uh, maybe it's a, it, it monitors missing pulses or maybe it's a power up thing. So when you power up, it, it, it holds off the clock until the power comes up. I, you know, why do you have, why do you have a microprocessor? And then I said, okay, well, let me, let me hold, disassemble the whole thing. And, and let's look at the, let's look at the other side of the PC board. Cause there seems to be stuff over there too. And look at this. There's all kinds of stuff on this board. Let me, let me focus again. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff over here. There's a, oh, a package there. Oh, oh, sorry. It's hard to grab on this thing. There's a package over there. There's a package over there. 
There's a little diode over there. There's a whole bunch of discretes. Come bypassing a couple 10 microfarad capacitors. Another big capacitor there in the middle. Why all the capacitors? Why all the... What the heck is going on? <laughs> um, so my question to you guys is, what is this thing? Do you, do you, do you have a data sheet for it? Um, my best guess is that it's a programmable device, and this is actually phase lock loop stuff on the back. Uh, I don't know how it's accomplished, but I'm assuming that the microprocessor handles some type of division and it ends up being a phase lock. It's, it ends up being programmable so that pin one is probably like a serial input. And you talk to this thing with a serial input and tell the microprocessor what you want. And then it does some type of, I doubt if it's direct digital synthesis. It looks to me more like it's probably some type of PLL type structure. Um, so anyway, that's what I got. Uh, there are some part numbers on these little six, a five, five pin and the six pin part. So let me, uh, let me see if I can read those off to you. Uh, the little five pin part is a QMEV, QMEV, and the little six legged part is, oh man, I gotta get the light exactly, exactly right. Oh, I don't see it now. Yeah, I can't. I can't see it now. Maybe you can, I'll try to tilt it. Sometimes tilting it helps see the, uh, helps see the uh, printing on it. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, there we go. We can read that one. Q, turn it around. Uh, Q, M, E, V, Q, Q, M, E, V, yeah. And then this little guy, I don't know what he is. Anyway, there you go. If you can figure out what that thing is, let me know.